Here we're going to talk about dubbing and uh, how to put dubbing onto your thread and onto your fly. Now if you're just starting fly fishing there are some types of dubbing that are easy to work with and other types of dubbing that are a little bit more difficult to work with. An easy dubbing to start with and actually one of my favorite dubbings is the super fine dubbing. It's a very soft wispy dubbing. It's a very easy dubbing to work with. One that's not quite as easy to work with is something called uh, ice dub or some of the more coarse dubbing. You can see here the fibers are much more coarse. This makes it much more difficult to apply to the thread and a little more difficult to work with. So let's first start with the super fine dubbing here and I'm going to show you exactly how to put it on the hook. The biggest mistake most people make with dubbing is they apply way too much. So the first thing we do is we take our thread we pull it down and we're going to leave about two three inches of exposed thread there and I peel off some dubbing. You can see how little dubbing I have in my fingers here. It's not much. Now you're just going to place that onto the thread just like so and you spread it out. I'm going to lick my fingers. Some people like to use dubbing wax. I absolutely do not like to use dubbing wax. Uh, dubbing wax i will actually build up uh, and make your fly, the body and everything a little globby. It won't make your dubbing shaggy. It'll make it all just bind together. So I like to use just saliva or the oil on my fingers. Then I'm going to squeeze the material very hard and twist one way. And then I'm going to do it again. Same exact way. Another mistake people make is they twist both ways. Uh, that will not uh, get the dubbing to stick to your thread. So you have to pinch hard and twist and pinch as you twist. As I'm twi twisting I'm pinching harder and harder and harder. And what you can see is that dubbing has bonded or binded to the thread. Now you can see my dubbing I've only put enough on to coat the thread. What you don't want is something that looks like this. That's way too much dubbing. The reason is, you can see when I start to wrap it, see how I can't control it? It's just going everywhere. Way too clumpy, way too much. And then you can just peel it off just by grabbing it and pulling it off. When I just coat the thread, you can see here how I have much more control over what I'm doing. I can make a little ball, I can go forward with it. And now you can see how my dubbing has come loose. All I'm going to do is I'm going to wet my fingers again, pinch, twist really, really hard. There we go. And I'm back dubbing again. And I can see it's loosening up again. Do the same thing. Twist. I'm ready to go. Now something like ice dub can be much more difficult to work with. It's more important with ice dub and coarse materials, you can see how coarse that stuff is, to use very, very little. If you use too much of this, it just will not dub whatsoever. So I take just a few fibers here, place them on the thread, I spread them out, wet my fingers, and this stuff doesn't really bind around the thread like the superfine necessarily did. It just kind of barely holds onto the thread then you can go ahead and place it on the hook. And usually with this stuff in between you do have to kind of manage it and keep it going the way you want it to go. So you can see how much shaggier that type of dubbing is. Zoom in here for you. Compared to the super fine. A lot more coarse, more difficult to work with, but really cool dubbing. Uh, I really like ice dubbing. And that's basically how you apply dubbing to the thread, just for standard nymphs, dries. Uh, it's just your traditional way to add dubbing.